Hey friends, happy Monday. How was your Sunday? Ours was a good Sunday, even for Miss Callie. Um, didn't do a lot Sunday. Got up, um, online church, and um, I crocheted a little. Uh, let's see, had a smoothie for breakfast, and then what did I do? I'm just trying to remember everything I did. Um, not too much. I think I crocheted a lot, and I didn't make anything. Nope. Oh, that's terrible. Anywho, <laughs> I had my smoothie for breakfast, and then Jerry for lunch um, made homemade macaroni and cheese with cut-up hot dogs in it. And I do like the hot dogs and the homemade mac, mac and cheese, but um, that is quite high point. It normally is 27 points, and um, he cut it in half, so I took about 13 points for that with a glass of milk. And um, then we watched our Detroit Lions play, and we watched them lose, but it was still a good game, and... You know, it's just the beginning of the season, so. And I stitched on my mom's um, Holy Spirit cross-stitch watching it, and um, I was on the section of the word holy, which is quite a big um, stitch, and I did get that word done. And I'm going to run out of that main color. The chart only shows one skein, but... I have to use that color for the word spirit and several of the other words that are in it. So I'm going to have to um, place an order with somebody someplace. I mean, we can run over to playing well, but Thursday we have a meeting with our financial, um, our, our, as we call him, our financial guy. And... Um, there is an auction Jerry wants to go to, oh, I can't remember what day, Friday. Friday he wants to go to, there's an auction Friday, a possible one on Saturday. Um, other than that, no, no big plans. Um, supper last night, I just um, had popcorn. We have a thing of regular popcorn that you got to get a pan out and you know do it on your stove and stuff so I had that for supper it was zero points um, I was kind of snicky snacky yesterday it just seemed like I couldn't quench whatever and I really think it's because of Callie because I am so concerned and I'm gonna cry so I'm not gonna talk about it too much but yesterday was a good good day she really had a good day she was out um, here with me a lot laying with me a lot she looked good she acted good went to bed with us last night um for a little bit like she always does nuzzles right up and then within a half hour she gets up and she goes and sleeps in the bathroom on her um, couple blankets that we've got laid out for her but i didn't sleep good last night in the middle of the night <laughs> she woke us up I remember feeling her coming, walking up between us, and her purrs were so loud, it was like an alarm clock going off. And um, it was like she was saying, hey guys, you haven't moved in a while, you know, it's only been three hours. <laughs> and then I was dreaming, and I can't tell you what it was, but it was enough that I kept waking up and going, I don't like this, you know, and... Then she started um, her low, low cries about 6.30, 7 o'clock. And um, by 20 to 8, I got up and I fed her. I could have crawled right back in bed. Um, but I figured I'm up. I might as well stay up and let Jerry sleep. And he did. He slept till 9. The only problem with that is, is that I'm tired. <laughs> I can't. I'm one of those people that very rarely, if I try to take a nap, I can't. Even if I lay in bed, I just cannot go back to sleep. And if I do, um, if I don't get a good two-hour nap, 
I get sick from it. I feel awful. So, yeah. I can sit in a chair and I can rest my eyes, keep them closed for like 15 minutes, and sometimes that will help, but usually no. But he'll stay up until midnight, and, you know, my daughter will say, well, go to bed. And I, the thing is, is that our bedroom is... The, um, when his room is, let's say, right here, and then you go into our bedroom, and he's half deaf, and he has the TV up loud, and um, even if I close the door, I can hear it, and so, and the things he watches, I don't like hearing before I go to bed. He, you know, it just, it's, you know, I don't want to say it's bad. It's just that when. Our kids and him talk about, hey, have you watched this or have you watched that? And then I'll say something and they all look at me and shake their heads and go, you can't watch it. It's too much gore, just too much gore. And I'm thinking, well, if it's too much for me, it should be too much for you three. <laughs> but yeah, I'm the type of person that, you know, if I watch that stuff, even the crime shows everybody likes and stuff, I used to watch that. But then I'd go to bed and I would have to leave lights on or, you know, I thought everybody around me was a serial killer or something, you know. So probably all the years of me working um, in the emergency room and seeing all the not so lovely things that came through. But, um, but I had my smoothie this morning and for lunch it was... We we need to buy groceries, and we didn't go get groceries yesterday. And it's like we're just eating out what we have, and there's there's no salad stuff, and there's no turkey stuff. All that's in there is ham for sandwiches, and I don't want to eat ham the day before um, weigh-in. And so I had tuna fish, but I really didn't feel like tuna fish. Saltines are gone. We had, um, oh, he made chicken, that chicken noodle soup, and we have leftovers of that, um, but we used up the last of the saltines. We do have Ritz crackers. So today I just had Ritz cra crackers with um, a tablespoon of peanut butter over them, and then I wanted some Fritos, <clears throat> and I had some sliced apples because I filled up my dehydrator again for um, the apples. Um, the ones I did last time, they're already in the freezer for this winter. So, but, and then I just keep getting up and looking at the pantry where the food is, or I'll stay, sit there and stare at the refrigerator and go, what can I eat? And I'm not hungry. I think that's called stress eating, worry eating. I don't know. So I do have some, um, what is it called? Um, French vanilla cappuccino chai mix we got at the Amish store. So I made a cup of that to see if that would help get that sweet out. But I don't think that's what I was looking for. I've never been a true sweet eater. I've been more of a salty. So... My thing would be, I, you know, I'd like to go and get in those potato chips or those Doritos or stuff like that, and I'm staying away. I do have some um, lemon drops. I do like a good old-fashioned sour lemon drop. And we do have a bag of Werther's that have not been opened yet. If I really wanted, I could get into that. But And I thought, well, I can make a, a small apple pie really Terry <laughs> or brownies really Terry <laughs> so I just like no no so um and I just been watching YouTube um Jerry's been out working cleaning up um little tools for the grandsons and stuff um for a Christmas gift and um that's why he goes to so many auctions. I mean, he's doing a really good job. He is um, downsizing some of his tools that has his names on, that has has 
you know, some of his tools had his names on it when he worked at um, Viking. And um, our oldest grandson, Landon, will be getting his um, toolbox and, you know, tools with his name on it. Riker's gotten some. Um, but, you know, he is slowly doing stuff for the grandkids like that. And we know that the grandkids are not going to appreciate it as much as they would if they are a lot older. But he wants wants to do that for him. So that's what he's been doing. And so last night I did finish my clue one on my um, mosaic crochet along that started last Friday. And um, I really, really like it. I will, um, there'll be pictures after this chit chat and everything of everything that if I remembered, I'll take pictures of. Um, so I did get that done last night. And so this morning I pulled out my temperature crochet blanket and um, I did finish um, July's um, block and I did start um, or August block. But then my rest from all the um, crocheting and stuff, I, I have a little tendon or nerve or something right there that if I do too much, and not rest it. I aggravate it and I kind of aggravated it. So I've been trying to let it rest and stuff. But I did write out, you know, the temperatures for all of August and the temperatures up to date until today of September's. And then I wrote out um, the calendar months uh, for October and November, the days. I didn't do December. So, so trying to get ahead of that. But I would really like to get caught up on that temperature blanket. And I still have to hook. I've got January, February, March all together and um, April, May, June. I just have to hook those two together like that. And um, then July, August, September, when September is done. So... Um, and I did order a new cross stitch pattern. I didn't need to do that, but you know, um, on Etsy there is a shop called Farmtastic, I think it's her name. I've ordered from her before, and um, I love Erica Michaels as a designer, and I just love her stuff. And it's one of her newer ones. And she had said, this gal from um, the Etsy, said that um, on Sunday only, all her patterns that she had in stock of Erica Michaels was going to be 25% off. So, of course, I went over and looked at them. And there was one that just caught my eye. It was so colorful. And I went, oh. So I put it in my cart, you know, Saturday just to, so I wouldn't forget it. And I looked at everything else there, and um, you're going to be hearing Jerry. He's going to be mowing in the backyard. I thought I could get this done before then, but no, because Miss Terry talks. Um, but there's one called, like, Reindeer Games, and it's a Scrabble board with a different deer's name in it. And I'm really tempted to get that. Um, she also sent me a, because um, I did go and order that one chart for 25% off and then as a thank you she sent me a 15% off coupon to use on my next order. So on my mom's cross stitch I'm going to be running out of the main color rainy day. I only have like two threads left of it and um, I need it for the word spirit and some of the other um, words. So I've been looking at that gal's website and um, to see what else that there might be that I could add to that and then just go ahead and order it. We could drive over to Plainwell, but, you know, we just never know what we're going to be doing. And I, if I went to Plainwell, I would want, want that chart that I just ordered anyway so I can look at the DMCs. A second. He's going right by the bird feeder right here. 
to make sure um, that if there's any missing that I could get it when I'm over there. Um, that one I will do the DMCs because everything that she used in it was I think sampler threads and they're like $2.50 or something like that, um, a skein compared to 66 cents off a DMC off from um, 123 Stitch or most places our craft store is almost a dollar a skein so that's why we'll see what I have in stock so but I'm you know but if I do order from this gal to get that 15% off I have those skeins in there to get so I just I just might do it um, but <clears throat> Miss Callie's not had a good day today. Um, she's been doing a lot of crying. I'm sure that's loud. But, um, so this morning he ran out to the vet's office, which is like 10 minutes away and picked up that food that she really seemed to like that they had given us a can for over the weekend. And um, so far she's ate half of the can. And when we look up on the kind that they gave us, it is meant to increase their appetite apparently, um, but it's also made to help the kidneys to keep them filtered better. Um, so, she's really eating it but then she she's been in the back in the bathroom behind the closed door on her blanket where it is a dark little area where she can hide from everything so but I hope that your Monday was a good one it is 87 degrees here it is humid I got all the windows closed in the sunroom and the sunroom with the ceiling fan going at 77 out here, but as long as I sit in my chair under the fan, I'm comfortable. Um, the inside house is probably two or three degrees cooler than that. Um, our air usually is set at 75, so if it gets near that, of course it's gonna come on, but it hasn't yet. So, no idea what is for supper. Hopefully he doesn't say like he's done the last two Mondays. You want a pizza? It's like, oh. So, but I don't think he will because, and hopefully, and I'm going to deter, deter if he offers um, anything with ham in it. So, um. But anyways, I just wanted to hop on and say hello. I hope that your um, week coming up will be a great one. That it will be an on-track one. That your journey, whatever you are on, is going great. And if it isn't, it will get better. Just don't give up on yourself and quit. Um... You know, that's just how life goes. And so, but I'll try to remember to post pictures. And when that um, chart comes in, I will show it to you because I know I'm going to want to start it right away. I have all those others, you know, but, oh, and I have not knitted on any socks either because I wanted to get that crochet clue done because the second one comes out Friday. And then I wanted to get my temperature blanket all caught up so then I can just focus on socks if I want. Um, I was just trying to think. There was something else, but I can't think what it is. So, But, oh, and this top I am wearing is one of the um, tops I got for $3 um, from that estate sale. And um, it actually goes over my hips quite nicely. It's not tight. So... I think I got three or four tops. Um, I know I got a pink one and 
yesterday I wore um, the tank top one of it. Um, if I would have paid attention to the material, I might not have gotten it. It's like almost 100% like that rayon stretchy kind. Um, and I like a little bit of, you know, cotton in it. So, but other than that, I'm going to let you go, my friends, since he's right there. And it has been 20 minutes, so. I told you, sometimes I can just talk like nobody's business. So, stay strong, my friends. We got this. And I will stay strong. And um, hopefully I will uh, see you on Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, don't forget there's always an extra video up of the um, weekly topic. So, Hopefully where you are at, you are getting some rain. Hopefully you are getting um, some cooler weather. We still have not seen any rain. They don't predict it at all for this week. So, um, and I know that we're not the only ones that are like that. And it's going to be another warm week in Michigan. But we're not going to complain because that white stuff is going to be here soon enough. So. Thanks for listening, my friends. Talk to you later. Hey, pretty girl. Hey, pretty girl. How are you? Yeah? Yeah? Is you sleepy? Is you sleepy? Yeah. Yeah? Are you sleepy? What? Mama talking to you? Is Mama talking to you? Huh? Yeah. It's about treat time, isn't it? Oh, stretch. Goodness sakes. Is it treat time? Yeah? Or is it nap time? Should we go get your treat? Should we go get your treat? We should. Yeah, you like eating your treats, Jet, don't you? Who's a pretty girl? He's a pretty girl. Yeah. Hi, honey. Yeah? What? Should we get your treat? Okay. Let's go get your treat.